Hello, my name is Greg Soden, and I'm the Compliance Director for the National Association of Trailer Manufacturers. For over 10 years, NATM has had a compliance verification program and requires its members to meet all applicable federal motor vehicle safety standards. Today, we're going to go over all of the requirements that have to be met before an NATM compliance decal can be placed on a trailer. One of the first items we check on the NATM compliance verification checklist is that the certification label or VIN label and the tire placard, if applicable, are completely filled out and the information is correct. Next, we check that the coupler has an appropriate rated capacity equal to or greater than the gross vehicle weight rating. Another item is that the safety chains and its connections have a capacity equal to or greater than the gross vehicle weight rating. If the trailer is equipped with brakes, we check that the emergency breakaway kit, lanyard, and battery are equipped with the trailer. Other items we check on the compliance verification checklist are lights and reflectors. Every trailer must have a front side marker light and reflex reflector. And if your trailer is over 80 inches wide or wider, you must have a front clearance lamp mounted at the widest point. If the trailer is over 10,000 pounds GVWR, conspicuity tape must be placed on the side, starting as far forward as practical and going as far back as practical. Another item we check is that the tire capacity is at least equal to the gross axle weight rating or higher. The additional lights that are required on every trailer is a license plate lamp, rear side marker lamp and reflex reflector, stop tail turn lights, and rear reflex reflectors. Once again, if your trailer is over 80 inches wide or wider, you must have a rear clearance lamp which shows the extreme width of the trailer to the rear and the three identification lamps mounted at the center of the rear of the trailer. Conspicuity tape again must go completely to the rear on the sides and as much across the rear as possible. In conclusion, we've gone over the basic steps that are included on NATM's compliance verification checklist. All members have passed and meet all applicable federal motor vehicle safety standards. And don't forget, used tires should never be placed on a new trailer. Once again, my name is Greg Soden, the Compliance Director for the National Association of Trailer Manufacturers. And when you're getting ready to buy a new trailer, don't forget to look for the NATM Compliance Decal. Thanks, and enjoy your new trailer.